Hello, my name is Michelle Cruz, and this is my new reselling channel. Today I'm giving you a tour of my reselling room. It's about a 9 by 11 it's not a big space, but this is how I store everything. I have the alphabet A to Z. I get these shelves either at Sam's Club or Amazon, they have them. They're 36 by 18, and I have them all lined up on each side of the room. So I have everything in bins, folded, cleaned, and I have the whole alphabet. And over here, I have the ring light, and this is how I store shoes. Um, I have nine bins of shoes, and I try to store like nicer leather ones, not with anything else, and some up there. This is my rack of new things that I source that I need to detag and clean, steam and such. Over here is my steamer, nothing fancy. And here is my jewelry setup because I also sell lots of jewelry. I sell on Poshmark and eBay. And this is my jewelry setup. And we have more bins stacked here of clothing that needs to be inventoried right here. I have the rest of the alphabet all the way from the floor to the ceiling up here as well. This middle shelf, I'm, I'm on the other wall now, is things that are not necessarily clothing. I have stuffed animals, belts, sheet sets, per, uh, pocketbooks, and plushies. More pocketbooks up there, again, all the way to the ceiling. And this is a middle rack, so now we're talking about the other side of the room. And now onto the jewelry, I do have 7,000 pieces of jewelry. And it's through the alphabet and through the numbers, A to Z, and I think one through 55. And everything gets stored such as this. And if you get a little peek, I would store it. After photographs, I put them on these little cards. Oops, choose one that has them on the card. Okay, so I put them on these little cards and then I put them you so these ones are listed and in the listing i have that they're in bin you so when i sell a pair i know that they're in you and then hopefully they're in this as well as this and this and everything else and so on every now and again i will have one of these drop with another and things fall out so the system isn't file proof because then i end up losing losing some so this is a wrapping station table. I also take shoe pictures on this table. I have a rolling dust chair. I just spin it around, take my pictures. This is where I wrap everything, whether it's clothing or glassware. I'll wrap it and then I'll put a thank you sticker on it. Um, underneath this table, I have boxes. Underneath the table behind all these quilts that I have yet to list, I have all the different sizes of priority mailboxes, which are free for the United States Post Office. Um, as far as eBay, you can also, since I have an eBay store, they give you a credit four times a year and I get tape. And that brings me to the start of my room. And I have these little cubbies and they hold anything related to reselling leather cleaner, polisher, for any leather shoes that come in, I make sure I give them a good polish. I defuzzify everything. Different types of bags, if they're growing ground advantage on eBay, it's cheaper than priority mail. And then all these priority mail boxes are for jewelry to ship. Thank you stickers, fragile stickers, all the way to the ceiling. Again, boxes. Packaging materials, everything you would need to sell. And now I'm gonna turn you around and when you walk in the, in the door, in the small room, this is where I take my pictures. I hang things up right on this hook. Then I put it over here and I have this measuring tape here. So I have it exactly where the shoulder of each garment is gonna hang so that I could take a picture uh, of the length. And then I will take this yardstick and measure the bust area, hip area, inseam, and so forth. I have found that if you do not put measurements, somebody will ask. So I always try to put all my measurements in with all my listings and just try to make it easy to do. So that is it today. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.